Well, today is Hispanic Heritage uh, uh, Day and Hispanic Heritage Week. And we have with us uh, one of the biggest in the world of uh, Hispanic companies, the Goya Food Company. And we have Robert Unanaway, the CEO with us. And uh, Robert Unanaway, uh, today is, uh, uh, we're celebrating Hispanic Day. Uh, you are one of the largest providers of Hispanic foods uh, to the entire world. Uh, give us an update. Where, where are we in the world? Well, John, thanks for having me, as always. And, and congratulations on your radio station, you know, doing so well because your voice is so important. And, and so, especially in these times. And uh, I think we're kind of in in dark times. But during Hispanic Heritage Month, uh, which runs from September 15th to October 15th, uh, the United States is the second largest Latino country in the world. We have uh, Latinos, Hispanics from all over the world that are here in this country. We're close to 70 million. Uh, that is only less than Mexico with 120 million. But we're the second largest and, you know, the United States will be the, I'm sorry, the Hispanic population will be the biggest group, they say, by 2050. So we have the responsibility, the opportunity to, as a, as a uh, community, with, to unify behind our values, God, family, work, and, and make this, uh, bring this country closer to God, just like uh, Donald J. Trump has been destined uh, to do. You know, the United States is the biggest consumer, unfortunately, of child and, and human trafficking. And the, the Latino, the Hispanic, is the biggest victim. Worse than that, 70% of Latinos, of, I'm sorry, 70% of women, uh, of people, <laughs> let me, let me uh, correct that, 70% of people trafficked are women, women. And, you know, we're, the women are being exploited, abused, the Latinos being exploited, abused. And this administration, this is a hundreds of billions of dollar business. And this administration is running this business, not just inviting people into this country, actually importing people into this country. I've heard that NGOs go down to other countries and we're, we're bringing in children and women to be exploited, and we're bringing in criminals too, to basically uh, create chaos in this country and move away from God and tor towards uh, communism. But a strong border, what, what President Trump uh, wants to do is establish a strong border to protect the women and the children. You know, back when the children technically were put into, were separated, they say cages, were separated from the people bringing them in because they're a commodity. We've turned women and children and, and young men into commodities, human commodities for exploitation and abuse. Last year, uh, 85,000 85, children were missing, according to Tara Lee Rodas, who testified. And she said the U.S. is the middleman in, in this trafficking. These children sold to sponsors. Women sold, uh, sold to sponsors. This year, the Attorney General, the Inspector General, I'm sorry, of the HHS, Health and Human Services, said that it's not 85,000 children missing. Now it's 320,000 children missing. President Trump has been talking about this, but he is the one that cares about the women, the children, and our border, keeping America safe, keeping people from being exploited, and the biggest group, like I say, is the Hispanic community. So God bless uh, President Trump for caring about women, children, and those trafficked and abused and exploited. Uh, uh, Mr. Unanaway, uh, tell us, uh, do you think the Hispanic community is getting enough recognition in the political community? Uh, in other words, getting enough uh, people appointed in the Washington level or the city or state levels? No. And again, you know, we're the biggest minority. We'll be the biggest group uh, by, by uh, 
2050. Uh, <laughs> the Latino community it creates the most businesses. Uh, we're a big part of the, the working class, the middle class, which is disappearing in this country. But because we have a divided voice politically, uh, we don't have that strength. You know, we're divided left and right and middle. And But the one thing that does unite us is the values, God, family, and work. And to me, that is what is going to make the difference. If we can uh, change this, uh, this country, help uh, you know, form it. Politically, we haven't done it. However, you know, the, the Latino has been the most, in my opinion, abused group. Uh, economically, you look at what's happened in the last four years, uh, the, the uh, border, uh, our weakness around the world. People come to this country for freedom, only to find our freedom disappearing. Uh, in 2016, President Trump had 20 some percent of the Hispanic vote. In 2020, 35 percent of the Hispanic vote, roughly. And what's your prediction now, for 2024? 2024, we're 45 to 50. We go wow. to 50, and, and we what? win. And well, I think it should even be larger because. The Democratic Party seems like they they don't like the Christian Judeo uh, uh, religion, and uh, you know the Hispanic community is very big Catholics, and uh, I, I understand that uh, Vice President Harris is not showing up at the uh, uh, Cardinals dinner in New York. Yeah, you know, it's not the Democrat Party because there's so many great. Uh, Democrats and Republicans, you know, in this country, wonderful people, God-fearing people. But this administration, in my opinion, is evil. They're running the biggest trafficking and drug business in the world. They don't care about the people. They care about two things, money and power, control. And they want to stay in power. They don't give a darn about, you know, anybody but themselves. And we're going to lose this country. But, you know, and that's why I think the values, God, family, work, which are the values of of many, many Americans. It shouldn't be this close. Unfortunately, well, you know, let this, me, let, I'm, let I'm me, in Texas. Let me fix Sorry. what I said. It's the, 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 the bad people at the Democratic Party that are, are taking the common sense Democrats and holding them prisoners because they... they, they what happens? They speak louder? They yell louder? I don't know. You know, what it is, is, you know, you need to get up every day with purpose. You know, we work during COVID as an essential business, Goya Foods, but work is essential. You need a, pur- you need a purpose to get up, to educate. But they're taking that purpose away. When the government says, hey, stay at home, when Randy Weingarten says to the children, two years, sit in your in your in home and don't get up and for a child a day is 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 a month is a week and we we if we fall to the government feeding us and saying don't get up don't educate uh we'll take care of you and so in the big cities around this country we see it and you know we, we see the handouts are destroying us and also our borders, the southern border, the northern borders. And now I just heard about this program, uh, the parole program, which brings in Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans and Venezuelans. They're flown into into our cities. Look, look at Springfield, uh, Ohio. You know, the, the Haitian groups, they're flown in here. Thousands and thousands of people flown in. So our borders. And they're not, again, they're not, we're not inviting people into this country. We're importing them to destroy it, to, for people to stay in power. They, the people they bring in, they say, vote vote this way. If they're coming in uh, without checks and balances, shouldn't we call it an invasion? It's, it's an invasion, but an invasion is from another country coming in. This is, we're bringing them in. We're importing them. Like, we're importing them like a commodity to be used to exploit it, be exploited, and to maintain the power. To say, we give them phones. Why do we give them phones? So that we can track them and send messages. Vote this way. 
vote for us so we can stay in power. And by the way, we don't give a crap about you. We just want your vote so that we can take away your freedoms, take away your prosperity, take take away your your you know freedom to 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 worship, and and your dignity. You don't need to get up. We'll take care of you. But guess what? It's the few controlling the many. This is Animal Farm. This is you know Orwellian. Robert, Robert Unanaway, thank you for speaking out for the Hispanic community. And uh, let's catch up again real soon, and and let's hope the the world and the country go go in the right direction. You know, John, President Donald J. Trump loves this country. He takes it on the chin every day for us, and we have. I have hope. We need him in in this in the presidency. We need the Congress, the Senate, to uh, save this country, to move us closer to God. It's been predicted Donald J. Trump will do it, and I pray for him every day that he's protected. The hand of God is on him, and the hand of God will continue to protect Donald J. Trump. We need this incredible man. God bless you. God bless America. And uh, again, we will catch up again real soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, John.